Hello, I'm Iman Zalikoffer. And I'm Taekwon Sally. Welcome back to the weekly update. Time to start thinking about spring break. It kicks off with a good Friday on March 29th and stretches through the following week, April 1st through April 5th. A well-deserved part, a well-deserved break for all our hardworking students and staff. As a reminder, based on input from our family survey, the graduation commencement will now begin at 3.30 p.m., moving up from the initially planned 5.30 p.m. For those looking for detailed information on the graduation ceremony, including venue-specific parking attendee guidelines and other crucial announcements, please make sure to visit the graduation and prom information link provided in this week's email message. We have an important health update that requires your immediate attention. Illinois State law mandates that all students entering their senior year must be vaccinated against a severe form of bacteria meningitis. This is not this is not just any requirement, it's a step toward safety guarding our health. Here's what you need to know. Every senior needs to show proof of receiving the meningococcal conjugate vaccine, MCV4. If you got your first dose after your 16th birthday, then you are all set with just that one dose. However, if you receive it before turning 16, you will need to show proof of two doses. It's all about making sure we're protected against meningitis and other diseases caused by the meningococcus bacterium. And how can you prove you have been vaccinated? Pretty simple. You can submit a note from your healthcare provider, a printout from their electronic records, or the updated certificate of child health examination form showing the vaccine date. Make sure to submit this proof to the school nurses as soon as you have it. It's crucial for your registration for senior year. And if you have questions, you know where to find the school nurses. Speaking of which, let's give a shout out to our amazing nurses, Catherine Alexander Wilson and Laura Chapman, ready to assist you with any concerns. Remember, staying vaccinated means keeping our school community safe. We, are, we appreciate your cooperation and prompt action on this. Finally, for our Spanish-speaking community, a translated copy of the superintendent's weekly message is available on our website. Just select your preferred language from the options at the top right of the page. Thank you again for taking the time to watch and listen to this week's update for real-time updates regarding new information. I encourage you to visit our website. Make sure you stay connected with us on social media and continue to check your email regularly. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, and continue to look after each other because we are stronger together. Go Raptors!